In this video, we're going to be writing the run simulations method, which basically performs a given number of simulations and returns the proportion of simulations in which the frog successfully reached or passed the goal. Let's go ahead and start off with some pseudocode so we know the actual code that we want to write. We're passed in a parameter that represents a number of simulations that we're supposed to run, but we don't know whether every single simulation is going to be successful. So we're probably going to want to initialize a variable to keep track of how many how many times the frog has reached the goal okay um, and then what we actually want to do is we want to run the simulation num number of times so run the simulation num number of times so this sort of indicates a loop within that loop what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually call the simulate method. This is the method that we wrote in part A. So call the simulate method. And then if the frog was successful, if the frog actually reached or surpassed the goal, then we want to increment the variable that we're using to keep track of how many times the frog has reached the goal. So if successful increments the variable keeping track of successful runs. And that's about it. That's all that we do inside of our for loop. Next, outside of the for loop, we actually, since our uh, run simulations method is returning a double, we're going to want to return some sort of double. And in the problem statement, it's actually telling us that we want the proportion of simulations. So return the proportion of successful runs over total num runs. And that should be it for our pseudocode. So let's go ahead and dive into the actual code. So initializing a variable to keep track of how many times the frog has reached the goal. This is probably going to be an int. Um, and let's say successful sins. And then we're going to want to initialize this at zero because we can assume that the frog hasn't had any success yet because we haven't looped num number of times yet. So the frog has not reached the goal yet. Then we're going to want to run the simulation num number of times. So as I suggested, this is probably going to be a, a loop. So let's do four int i equals zero. Our upper bound of the loop is going to be num. That is how many times we're going to want to be running that simulate method. i plus plus. And then within our for loop, we're going to want to actually call the simulate method. Remember that the simulate method returns a boolean, where it's true if the frog successfully reached or passed the rule, false otherwise. So let's go ahead and capture that. So bool was successful is equal to simulate. So then we want to actually increment that variable, keep track of successful nums if the frog was successful. So if was successful, successful sims plus plus. If you wanted to, you could also just simplify this a little bit by doing this, getting rid of this code. Um, I think it's a little bit more clear this way, but you know, you can do whatever you want. And then outside of our for loop, we're going to want to actually return the proportion of successful runs to total num runs. So you might be tempted to just do something like this, return successful sims divided by num. But remember that both of these are ints. So num is an int and we define successful sims as an int as well. So we're actually going to want to do some casting here to make sure that we return a proportion as opposed to something that was integer divided, aka just truncated. So we're going to want to do double successful sims divided by num. So now, let's say for example, we pass in five as our num, and then we only had one successful simulation. If we didn't put that double there, we would do one divided by five, which is with integer division is going to be zero, which is not actually the proportion. But with that double, we're casting this to 1.0, so then we use normal division as opposed to integer division, so we get the proper proportion of 0.2. Testing this is a little bit tricky because we can't actually run the simulate method x number of times, but you can use the numbers that are passed in to check that you're returning the right thing. So for example, 
in the problem statement and tells you if the parameter passed into run simulation is 400 and then we went through the for 400 times and we ran simulate 400 times but we were only the frog was only successful 100 of those times so successful sims would be equal to 100 so we would be casting successful sims to a double so that'd be 100 turned into 100.0 divided by num which would be 400 that would be equal 0 0.25 which is exactly what we would expect it to be so unfortunately we can't really test out our for loop logic because we don't have the results of simulate for each one of those runs, but we can feel somewhat confident that we're, we're trying the right thing. If we get rid of the pseudocode, here's what our run simulations method looks like, where we initialize a variable to keep track of how many successful simulations we had. We have a for loop that goes from zero to num, where num is the number of simulations we're expected to run. We run the simulate method. We check if that simulate method was successful, aka did the frog reach the goal or surpass the goal. We increment our successful sims variable if it was successful, and then after that for loop, we cast our successful sims to a double to prevent integer division, and we divide that by the total number of simulations to get the proportion of successful simulation. That should be it for this problem. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.